Welcome to artsandcraftstv.com, episode 642, how to make cold porcelain for miniature projects. Materials for the recipe. One cup of cornstarch, three-fourths cup of white glue, two spoons of baby oil, one spoon of vinegar, one lemon, and we will use a knife, a spoon, a pan, plastic bag, and optional food coloring or powder tempera. We will start by mixing all the ingredients together, the oil, the vinegar, the lemon, the glue, and the cornstarch, and we will put all of them in a pan. Then we will mix them together, and we will put them on a low temperature in our stove, mixing and moving constantly so that it doesn't burn. You have to keep an eye on this until we get the consistency of mashed potatoes. Then we can add our color in powder tempera or food coloring. After that, we will take it off of the stove and we will start working with it so we can get the consistency of polymer clay. We will then put it in a plastic bag once it's cold and put it in the refrigerator on the bottom part of the refrigerator to use it later. Afterwards you can use cold porcelain for any project that you would use a polymer clay such as charms, miniatures, etc. The main difference between polymer clay and cold porcelain is that cold porcelain dries off and hardens after two to three days and that you don't have to bake it. You can use it with children and you can color it by using tempera paint or by using or tempera powder or by using uh, food coloring. As you can see, I have made different colors here and they're comparable to their polymer clay counterpart. I have also done a little charm project that I want you to see. And this is the one that I have made here and you can see that is pretty much the same as polymer clay. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, please give it like and I will see you on the next video. Bye!